Hello ladies, I got some more Hennessy for y'all. It's recently been reported that Wendy Williams is living in a crack house with DMX. They've been smoking crack with each other for a long time. It says here they met each other because they used to buy crack from the same person. Now ain't nothing funny about being on drugs. I know people be struggling real bad on that stuff. Y'all think that's DMX, but that's really Dave Chappelle. Everybody in Hollywood on that shit. Y'all must have forgot. Charlemagne the God was with Wendy Williams before he went to the breakfast clubs. Now that she living in a sober house, her drug dealers have to bring the drugs up to her job. It says here, she be happy as hell when he bring them drugs up there. She's ready. She be running up in the audience giving hugs for drugs. She's musty. Y'all know that she show up every day for work and she's supposed to be sick. Sick. It says here on page 16 of my documentation, she roll her old ass out that cot. Take one of them five minute bird baths. So, and her husband's so evil, he don't even let her get dressed. He don't give a damn if she show up to work with a blanket on. Blanket on blanket. She don't look the same, and he don't give a damn about her no more. No more. All this man wants is her money. They talking about he put her in a sober home. home. But the truth is, he really put her old ass in a nursing home. I don't blame him. Back in the day, y'all. Wendy Williams used to be the life of the party, but this man got her hypnotized and done turned her into a zombie. It says right here, even though she a zombie, she's still the life of the party. She did. She turned that nursing home out every weekend, y'all. Just because she living in a sober house don't mean she living her life sober. Some of y'all live in condos, but that don't mean y'all be using condoms. Shit. I live in a townhouse, but I live dead smack in the middle of the city. Y'all might as well not even call her Wendy Williams no more. Just call her Miss Pearly. Pearly. One thing for sure, it don't matter how bad her condition get, her husband still gonna make her ass get up and go to work. She already half dead, but that nigga don't give a fuck. It says here, DMX is always blowing that secondhand smoke in Wendy Williams' face. She tried to do herself some justice by giving herself some liberty. But even as the Statue of Liberty, she still be using them psychedelic drugs. Oh God, God. On page 54, DMX was begging Wendy Williams to stop drinking, Drink. but she ain't want to listen to him. She get with her friends and pop her a couple of them bottles. So sad. This woman really let herself go. Yes. She starting to look like Amy Slimehouse. Big breast. I really pray that she have a recovery story because I really like Wendy Williams. Williams. It's not that she's a bad person. She just get involved with the wrong people. people. Now, if she gonna be having an affair with somebody, she could at least did better than DMX. She's desperate. All she really need to do is quit smoking that shit and get her life back on track. Cause she always gonna have them ugly ass fans. fans. They be treating her like she a queen, but she really a king. That turned into a fiend. To a fiend. To a this must be some bad karma for Wendy. I remember back in the day she was going in on Whitney Houston, calling her all types of crackheads. Now she a crackhead. Now she can see through her very own eyes what it's like to be a celebrity on crack. That shit fucking with her brain, y'all. Everything in slow motion. She's in the matrix. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. Subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe.